can't even progress further than the first step. Constraint won't allow me to align the reference planes in red to the outside walls. I am sick of this program and only be using it a week. How many of you can relate with this comment? I bet most of us can because I personally do. Well, we all face these type of struggles each time we want to start a new thing, especially if we don't approach it the correct way. This can easily lead to a wasted time, frustration, and sometimes even leaving us feeling stuck or overwhelmed. A lack of clarity in just one specific area could make this experience so much complicated and harder, especially at the beginning stages and with some essential tools like this work plane, which we're going to talk about it more in a few seconds. Now, based on so many comments like this that I have received from you and also similar experiences of my students and of course myself, the course I'm developing will cover all of the essential topics step by step. We will start with the basics and gradually move into the more advanced topics. It is structured the way that after the first few weeks, you can easily model parametric families and after the course is finished, you can tackle any project confidently. There will be nothing in Revit world that you cannot handle. I will explain more about the course in future videos, but for now, if you would like to stay updated, make sure to check the site and also sign up with your email. Now. Let's see what is work plane and how we can use it. So since this is a foundational concept that you need to know about, I'm going to give you a little bit of background. We all know that in the project browser, based on the template we are in, we can see different views, right? We have floor plans, ceiling plans, 3D views, and also the elevations. In each one of these views, you will have different parts and you can do some special things, actions, okay? So when we are in floor plan, when we are in first level, we are looking at anything that we have on that level from up to down. If you check the property section in underlay in this part, you can see that it is said look down. So this is for the floor plans. This is what floor plan means. Uh, if we go to elevation, we can see anything that we have on the project from left, right, front or back depends on uh, which view you are in okay uh, if you look at the first level in here you can see the north view in here you can see the south elevation the east elevation and the west elevation so it depends on the location of these points if you go to that view you can see that a specific object anything you had on the uh, project you can see it from that view let me go to first level and just place some simple thing in this part okay so this is a chair this is this and we are in first level and we are looking at it from up to down if we go to south view we can see it from the front or back view now since we placed it on the first level the placement, the base of this component is going to be set exactly on the first level by default. You don't have to set anything in here. And this means that in first level, your work plane is set on the first level, no matter where it is. If you go to second level and place something on that level, your component will be on that level. So if I go to second level, I am going to place something else in this part and if we go to the south view, we can see that we have two different components in this part on two different levels. So this means that some views by default have some special work plane and you don't have to set anything on those parts. Um, unless you want to like place something in between those things or you want to have like mm, rotate things place um, your component or create something on very like unique angle or on unique face okay on that cases you can uh, set the work plane and work on it now there is also another thing we have 3d views so a uh, floor plan and the elevation are 2d views but we also have the 3d view which uh, have the z axis and we have like three axes right we have x y and z axis if we are in first level we are working on the x and y axis and um, if i want to say it simply we can see the width and length of something 
anything anything that we have on the project if we look at it from elevation we have x or y axis with the z axis so this means that we have width with height or length with height depends on the view you are in so we can't see axis in here we can't see work plane we can see all of those details in this part we can see them in autocad or in 3d view but we don't have those axes in here so i have created very simple shape very simple form in this part just consider that this is an axis so this is the x and y axis this could be z and x and this one is z and y okay so each time you place something on first level in this part on floor level you place something on this axis okay by default you can't see it let me show you this with an example right now we are in 3d view and by default we said that by default the work line is set on first level so now if i want to place something i should place it in here on this space right exactly on this part if i look at it from the front view i can see that it is on this part but if i want to place it on another view if i want to place it somewhere else or if i want to create something else on some other parts for example on this axis what should i do in these cases i have to set the work plane we are going to go to architecture tab and in here i'm going to click on this part this is the work plane if you want to set it you need to come to here and this is a peak plane and uh, which is the uh, second option of the set work plane um, and if i for example click on this set work plane you can see that this is the second option pick a plane you can either select the name for it or pick it with this option i'm going to click on this part and then i'm going to set my work plane on this part i can click on this show to see where my work plane is i'm going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see where it is and if i rotate you can see that it is exactly set on this part. now if i want to create something i can easily create it in here i'm going to go to component modeling place and let's just create a generic model very simple rectangle and if i create a rectangle it will be created on this part let me hit finish and finish again now if we rotate you can see that it is exactly set on this part on this reference plane right it is in here so if i select it and go to edit in place and select it again in this part you can see that the extrusion end is set on 25 centimeter if i put a minus in this part it will be on the other side of the work plane right it is in here in this side now for other parts for example on the other side in here if you want to create something else on this part again you need to go to architecture tab and set a, a work plane on the face on the part that you want to create your form on so now i'm going to click on this part and you see that the work plane is exactly on here now if i go to architecture and create another component model in place generic model in here i can simply create it in this part now if i hit finish and finish again we can see the form in this part exactly on the work plane that we set now work planes or the faces we want to work on are not always this much straight and direct right we might want to like place something on a roof we might need to place something on some special edge of some components like this and we might need to place something on a slope or things like this so for those parts again you need to set your work plane and set it exactly on that face but if you want to create some faces yourself if you want to for example have a unique angle for placing some component or for creating something what should you do in these cases you can create your face you can create your work plane by creating a reference plane let's go to one of the 2d views for example this first level and in this part i'm going to create a reference plane in here 
okay let's say you want to place something on this reference point let's say we want to create something that is on this face so first of all you need to make sure that it has a name so you can assign the work plane by name on this reference plane right i'm going to just simply click on it and change its name like this give it any name you want now the next step is to go to set and set work plane and in this part you need to search for that name between these views i'm going to select this one reference plane a and okay now it suggests us that you need to be on a view that you can work on this reference plane we are in a first level okay we are in a floor plan so we can't create something on another axis we can create um, component or forms on different levels on different elevations on this level but we cannot create it on another axis okay i explained that we are in x and y axis so we can't create anything on any unique face or on um, x or z axis so we have to go to the view which is a 3d view or on one of these elevations it is easier to go in 3d view it is easier to work on exactly what you want in here so this is the reference plane this is the face we want to work on now that we are in here i can go to architecture component create a generic model and in here i can create some unique form anything i want in this part like this if i hit finish my form will be created exactly on this part exactly on the work plane that i set it on now if you want to like for example create another thing on any unique face because we have like edges in these parts we have planes in here if you want to continue and create something else on some other faces you need to again go to architecture set this time i'm going to use this pick a plane and i'm going to easily set my work plane on here now if you look at the work plane you can see that it is on this part now you can again go to component model in place generic model and then extrusion or any other forms that you want and then simply create the shape you want on the face you selected like this another thing you need to know about the work plane or reference planes is that anything you create any form or any component you create on that work plane will be always on that plane you can't see the end of it but your form your object your component will be always on that reference plane so it doesn't matter if you move it around if you move it outside this reference plane if you turn the work plane off like this your component will be always on that reference plane or work plane also if you want to face directly to the work plane you have selected you can go to architecture tab and in this work plane section you can click on this viewer so in this part you can see the work plane that is active if i change it let me close it and change my work plane to for example this part this face and go to viewer again you can see that it is showing another thing this is the object that we just created and it is in this part you see that it is facing other way so right now we are facing directly here and if you want to create something you can use this view too to like see what you are working on so this was just an explanation of how work planes works how reference planes works how we can control them and how we can create exactly what we need on the faces we want this was just an intro of the first chapters of the course so definitely there is so much more to explore thank you so much for watching until now don't forget to check the site and i will see you soon